What's up guys, Baker here, coming at you with another tutorial. What's up? Um, I'm back from Palm Springs and uh, going to do some more tutorials and stuff. And uh, some of you might know that I got a new MacBook Pro for, for my birthday. So I'm going to be moving all my stuff over there. So it's going to be taking me a while to get everything situated on there. But for now, I'm back on this old Mac, and uh, yeah, here's what I'll be going over. It's going to be some uh, handwriting text reveal. Pretty sweet. Use that in my intro. Um, I already did the particle smoke, and this is basically the only other thing in my intro. So, that's pretty cool. Let's go ahead and make a new comp. And 720p is fine. 10 seconds, that's fine for an intro. Okay. And uh, first thing, I'll just make the uh, the background, the vignette. So I'll go pure white, and then I'll make another new solid and make it black. And uh, double click with the ellipse tool to make a ellipse. Subtract it and feather it. This should be uh, pretty easy for you guys. Hope you sh should know this. And uh, so we got our basic little thing there. Okay, so. We're gonna have some effects and blah blah, and then your text. Um, you're gonna have your text, DF Baker. And uh, for this effect, you want to have generally like a thin-looking font. You don't want to have a thick font like this. So I'm gonna be using uh, Luna Bar, pretty pretty good uh, uh, font. And uh, so normally the spacing is kind of close. You want it to be fairly spread out. You don't want them to overlap too much. So you know mess with it. Uh, do this a couple times. Uh, another tip is, um, uh, I don't know, let's just get right into it. I don't even care. So what you want to do is select your layer and go up to the pen tool and select it. And basically we're going to trace over our text. So I'm going to zoom into 200% and um, start over here and just draw as if you were uh, drawing it. And you want to stay right in the center, as detailed as possible. Um, you can, uh, I don't even know what I'm talking about right now. But basically just trace this, be as precise as you want. Um, and just kind of follow how you would write it. So I'm going to go down this way. And um, to go from letter to letter, once something's already been drawn, you can go ahead and cross it, like up here, and then just uh, keep drawing. What you don't want to do is uh, some tricky parts coming up, but like uh, you don't want to cross something if it's not been revealed yet. So, for example, let's see here. You don't kind of. I don't even know. Just. Just follow this. And to save time, I'm actually just going to go ahead and copy this example. And I'll uh, show you what's going on here. So, I got this mask, and it goes around, follows, and just goes through the entire name, as if you were writing it. And uh, to end the mask, because it's not like a closed mask, uh, what you want to do is, let's say you have this solid right here, if I sold this, if I had a mask and you drew it like this and you want it to stop, just go ahead and click away. And then I'll make a mask that's just like a line. That's that's what we want. Don't want to close it. So here's our, uh, our mask goes around and that looks pretty good. So what we're going to do is click our name, go to effect, generate stroke. And then, so we get this cool line that follows the mask. And um, I'm going to go ahead and change the color so you can see it. Hide the mask. And uh, you want to increase the brush size so it fills over all of your text. And you don't want to make it too big. You want to make it just big enough. And uh, if there's some parts showing, instead of making the brush size bigger, just go ahead and uh, move some of the points over so it kind of fills in nicely so again reduce the brush size as much as possible and that looks 
like it's pretty much covered. And then what you do is just change the uh, paint style to reveal. And nothing happens. Cool. All we're going to do is keyframe the end position. So we'll set a keyframe at 5 seconds as well as 0 seconds. But at 0, the end percent needs to be 0. So if we scrub through, got this line painting through, and it looks like it's writing our name. Now, I don't know if you notice, but if you take a look at this A right here, and right about there, there's a little piece showing. That's because our mask goes across that little edge, so we need to adjust that, make it go around, and then it'll look a lot nicer. So, it's something you got to mess around with. Uh, you got to have a little bit of experience knowing how to move to letters and how to write it. Um, if you have any questions on anything else, how this works, go ahead and message me. Like the tutorial for showing you this. And uh, I don't know. feels good to be back. Sorry if this was an awkward tutorial or anything like that. But that's about it. Uh, uh, check out my other tutorials probably. And uh, even my second channel, Baker's Tuts. Going for a partnership. Just hit 400 subs. Let's keep it going. So, uh, yeah, peace you guys.